How deep are your pockets? Good thing it's Dental Hygiene Wednesday. <laughs> I'm the lead hygienist here at Dublin Dental Care and I want to welcome you to our Dental Hygiene Wednesdays. Every week we like to cover different products or topics that we feel are important for our patients and our viewers to know about to help give them tips on ways to keep their mouths nice and healthy when they're not in here with us. Um, last week we discussed bleeding gums, uh, things that can cause bleeding gums and gave tips on ways to prevent that from occurring. Uh, if you missed that video, feel free to check it out on our Facebook or our YouTube page. All our previous videos are all up there. Also, this week we are talking about a topic that we have been getting some questions about and we feel is important that we take the time to discuss um, so that our patients and our viewers can know the difference and don't have any more questions. And that is what is the difference between a profi or a regular cleaning and a periodontal maintenance procedure. Um, and why we do one or the other on our patients. Um, so we will start with the regular cleaning or profi. Um, both terms can be used. Um, and that is performed when we have a patient who has nice healthy tissues, um, there's no bone loss occurring, and you know we're not having a lot of bleeding going on. So when you look at the mouth, you have bone that sits in between the teeth and that is what keeps your teeth in their place and we want to make sure that we're keeping our bone level up where it is so that your teeth are healthy, they're not having, um, you know, the stability's not going down. So the way to check that is when you come in, we will measure your tissues. And what we do is we use a little instrument that has millimeter measurements and we go through and we put the um, probe or the measuring instrument down in between the tooth and the tissue. Um, a lot of people, if you think about it, it's where you get those popcorn kernels stuck. So that's where we're measuring to check and make sure that the bone is up where we want it to be. In nice healthy mouths, we get one through three. Those are areas that you can keep clean at home by yourself. Um, so we'll go through, we, we'll measure. Um, we'll get one through three. If we have those readings, then we'll go ahead and we'll do a regular profi. Even with people who are getting regular profis or cleanings, there can be some bleeding that occurs. That is what's considered to be gingivitis. When we see that, we'll go over different techniques um, on ways for you to keep your mouth clean so that's not happening, so that hopefully your tissues can stay healthy and your bone level can stay healthy. However, if once we start measuring, we're getting deeper numbers, um, one through five, six, seven, anything above four, four and above are areas where we start to be concerned. The higher the number, the more concerned we get. And the reason that happens is because your gingivitis, which is where you have a um, infection in the tissue and that's causing the bleeding to occur, moves from being just gingivitis, just affecting the tissue, to called periodontal disease. And with that, that means we're starting to lose the bone support in between the teeth. So the bone level's not up nice and high, now it's dropped, and we now get these pockets because your tissue's irritated so it's inflamed and your bone level's dropped. So now it forms this pocket where food and bacteria and calculus and plaque and dead skin cells can all get trapped down under there and affect the tissue health and eventually cause even more bone loss to occur. So when we measure, if we have four through five, we will talk to you about the numbers. We'll explain what's going on, show you, and then we will recommend doing what's called a deep cleaning. And that is something that we recommend deep cleaning or scaling root planning. Most people don't aren't familiar with scaling and root planning, so we might say deep cleaning. Um, to put it in more of terms that our patients are more aware of. So what that is, is we go through with an instrument that uses water and vibrations. It cleans the whole side of the tooth and down underneath into this pocket that's formed to help get rid of all the irritants that are causing the infection to occur in the tissue and causing the bone loss so that your tissue can drop to a healthier level so that you can keep it clean at home. We want that one through three. and. You know, when you come in and you do the deep cleaning, we have you come back, we wanna check those numbers and make sure that what we did worked. Um, more than likely you'll have results. Sometimes there are bacteria that can sit underneath the tissue 
that can still stay even after we've done the deep cleaning. And so then we recommend placing an antibiotic under the tissue to help just really reach that bacteria and get rid of it so it's not affecting your tissue anymore. So we go through at that follow-up appointment, make sure everything's where we want it to be. If not, what do we need to do to get rid of that bacteria that's still hanging around? And then we recommend doing what are called the periodontal maintenance procedures. And the reason why we do that is because once you're diagnosed with periodontal disease, once we see that bone loss both on x-rays, in the mouth, with the measurements, the tissues, you're always going to be considered to have periodontal disease. And that is because it's a bone loss disease um, and bone can't be regrown. So we can't you know, go back and add the bone back in. It's not gonna regrow. You're always gonna have that bone loss and you're always going to have that risk of the periodontal disease becoming active again. So the goal of the deep cleaning is to get it from active to maintained, which is what those periodontal maintenance um, procedures or appointments are for. Maintaining the, uh, the um, periodontal disease so that it doesn't become active again and doesn't cause more bone loss. Um, so that's why it's so important when you do have to go through that scaling root planning or deep cleaning and then do the follow-up that we do those periodontal maintenance procedures. Um, we bring you in more often, we check the numbers, we're making sure that it's not getting out of control and it's not causing more bone loss. We don't want the bone to drop to the point where you're having bone loss in between the roots. You can't get that clean. Um, and if it does eventually get there, unfortunately a lot of times we'll have to refer you to a specialist because you need different procedures to get that taken care of. So we have certain reasons why we recommend a regular cleaning or a profi, and certain reasons why you and we end up referring the uh, periodontal maintenance procedures or asking you to do those. And our goal is taking you from either three or four month recare with those periodontal maintenance procedures to eventually, hopefully, every six months. It's still going to be a periodontal maintenance because you still have periodontal disease and that takes a little extra effort to get rid of and maintain. Um, but hopefully, once we get your tissues under control, the disease under control, we can get you in every six months. Um, and insurance plays a different role in either, both um, with the regular cleaning or the profi. A lot of insurances will cover every six months, no cost to the patients, which is awesome. And you know that's why we recommend brushing, flossing every day mouth rinse, everything that you can do at home to keep your mouth healthy, so that's all you have to do. But when you have to come in for the periodontal maintenance procedures, um, you're coming in more frequently, a lot of times insurance only says, well, we'll only cover this percentage of it. So if you have questions, if that is something that you are going through and you're not sure why they're charging or why you have a copay, feel free to always call us. We will answer any questions you have. We don't want you wondering why you're being charged. Um, we are always willing to talk to you about anything you have questions about. So I want to thank you for watching this video today. Uh, hopefully I answered all your questions. If not, email me. My email is christina at dublindentalcareohio.com. I would be more than happy to answer anything that you have or any questions. Uh, feel free to like and comment on this video. We always love seeing all of those. and. Um, if you want to check out our website, it's DublinDentalCareOhio.com. You can even schedule an appointment from that website. So once again, I want to thank you for joining us. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your week, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.